Welcome to a code report video. In this video, we're going to be talking about competitive programming plugins that can help you when you're competing in contests. So this screen's a bit busy, but if we focus in on what's important here, we have three different IDEs, Visual Studio from Microsoft and IntelliJ and C-Line from JetBrains. So they uh, support a variety of languages. C Helper is for Java, J Helper is for C++, and VS C Aid or C8 specifically because it also uh, supports code light is for C++ and C Sharp. And in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to install VSC8 with Visual Studio Community Edition because that's what I currently have set up on my computer. So let's hop over to Visual Studio. So here we are in Visual Studio Community Edition. And the first thing we want to do is go to Tools, Extensions and Updates, and we want to install the plugin, which is going to be pretty straightforward. We go to Online, we search VSC Aid, and it should come up, and we just want to hit Download here. So this is going to download. It's not that big, only 12 megabytes. And once this completes, we have to shut down Visual Studio and then start it up again. So I'm going to skip ahead to the point where I've done that. So now we have VSC8 installed. The next step is to go to View, go to Other Windows, and to turn on C8. So now we have uh, this little window here, and the next step is to just create C8 solution. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to navigate to my Code Forces folder, go Make New Folder, call it C8 Test, go OK. So I've skipped ahead here now that our solution is created and you can see we have a bunch of buttons here that we can choose from so the next thing we want to do is click this parse contest in which we now need a url for the contest that we want to compete in so i'm going to hop over to code forces and copy the url from here and then go back to visual studio and paste that url here then we click ok it's going to take a couple seconds and basically what it's going to do here is it's going to load all the problems and all the test cases uh, for those problems into um, our C8 plugin. And at that point, it should give us some uh, CPP files that we can fill in and put our code in and automatically run the test. So you can see here each of our problems, A to G, were given a CPP file and a class solution with a solve function and this is where we're going to put the solution to our problem. So I've already coded this in advance because we're not solving problems in this video. I'm showing you how to use this plugin. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. Uh, the code's not very good, but just ignore that. And what's really cool about these plugins is that it enables you to rely on third-party libraries or external libraries or libraries that you've written yourself. And then when you compile it, it's going to inline uh, your dependencies uh, on those third-party libraries and put it all in one source file so that you can submit it. Uh, so this would enable you to basically sort of write your own libraries and not have to repeat code that you've written in the past. Um, so in order to do that, I'll show you a quick example. So you can see here currently my inner product algorithm, it takes two lambdas, but I've actually written uh, this lambda to be sort of a permanent function object that's in a file uh, called ufo.hpp, which stands for useful function objects. And if I go to Solution Explorer, we've got three projects here. And what I want to do is in CPP lib, this is where you want to put your libraries that you're depending on. I can go here, add existing item. I've already gone ahead and uh, added my HPP file or whatever your .h file that you need to include. Um, I already did this previously, but you just want to add this. And once you've done that, you go add. You'll see it show up here. And there are two more things we need to do. So we need to include the header. And we also need to go change our settings so that we are not using C++11, but C++14, because we're using generic lambdas here. And that's not going to compile unless if we have C++14. So in order to do that, we need to go navigate to our uh, C8 uh, INI configuration file. So that is here in our C8 folder that we created. We can see our ca.ini file here, and if we double click on this, it'll open up our configuration file. And you can see here we have this uh, setting here. So we need to change it from C11 to C14. And then we just need to save this and close it. So we can close this as well. And now if we hit run tests and we want to build it, uh, it is currently creating our submission file. 
and then we should see a window pop up. And it's telling me that one of my test cases passed and one of them failed. Uh, but really, they've both passed because uh, the answers for this question uh, can be different. So there's more than one correct answer, and my answer is also correct. So we can see here if we go and take a look at our, our test cases, um, they're already here. And so this is really nice in Code Forces uh, when they give you multiple test cases. Uh, we don't have to go and test them one by one by one. And also, you can add your own custom uh, test cases here. So this is super neat. And uh, if we take a look at our submission file, submission.cpp, you can see that they've taken our code that we've used. It thinks actually, uh, or it actually isn't including anything from our uh, UFO file right now because we're not relying on it. So it's, uh, it's basically just copied our solution in here and gotten rid of anything that we're not relying on. So if we come back here and we now depend on our UFO header file and we build this again, Hopefully we should see that it pulls in this uh, UFO max function object into our submission file. So once again, it says one failed, one passed. And uh, yes to all. And we come back to our submission. And you can see now it's pulled in from my uh, UFO.HPP file. Um, you can see that it actually had originally three function objects here, but it only pulled the one that it needed in. So this is super neat, uh, and it's going to make writing code a lot more fun in terms of uh, it's going to expand the libraries that you're able to depend on, not just the standard template library, but you could rely on Boost, you could re rely on your personal libraries, and it's just super awesome. Uh, so you might be thinking, how come only C++14 Code Forces supports C++17? And that's because currently uh, the plugin doesn't support it. But I messaged or posted an issue on the GitHub page to SliceLoat. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, initially I thought it was both C++14 and 17 that weren't supported, but I figured out how to get uh, 14. And uh, he posted back just tonight saying that he actually already has it working for C++17 in the master branch. He just needs to publish a release for the Visual Studio plugin. So I will post a link to this video and hopefully he'll see it and uh, that'll um, prompt him to. But a uh, huge thanks to SliceLoat for creating this uh, plugin. It's super helpful. And also a shout out to uh, Matt Fontaine and his Algorithms Live channel. I have shouted out Matt's channel before, uh, but here's another shout out. And uh, he's the individual, I, t I spoke to him on the weekend, and he pointed me towards uh, C Helper, J Helper, and VSC Aid. So uh, he's got tons of great videos on more difficult competitive programming problems. And he's, he also has guests on the show that are elite uh, competitive programmers. So if you haven't checked out this channel before, be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button for him. And uh, if you'd like me to do videos similar to this one for C Helper and J Helper, uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful. One more thing, I almost forgot to mention all the different sites that VSC Aid supports. So it's not just Code Forces, uh, it's also Code Chef, Hacker Rank, Top Coder, although it seems like you do require a separate plugin for that one, and a couple other sites like uh, Google Code Jam. Uh, so not, not only Code Forces, there are several other sites that it supports. Uh, Code Forces is the only one with C++17, so C++14 should actually be sufficient or for all the other sites. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.